this one little section there. And then we got down to this other section. He started pushing that around. He says, I'm not going to do it at all. He says, I can't do it anymore, so don't do it. Uh, and, you know, it, it was not nap time, really. <laughs> really. And, and, and he needs it. And, and so uh, we stopped at that point. It's not anything that we can't do next spring before we park in there, because it's just in the parking lot area. And, and probably needs to settle down anyway before we move that particular amount of uh, But it'll make, make a lot of difference where we had problems with the, uh, bringing up water in those areas too. So, uh, anyway, Wayne was very, very uh, helpful. He actually came up one time when I was here and told me about it. I called him and said, yeah, and so I was up there and saw what you had done. See what I can do when we when we finish up here. And he was very gracious to you. And, and, and his dump truck drivers were very gracious too. They came up here and it's, you know, I, I was told that we didn't get so many. And he said, well, he says, uh, I can do more than that. And, you know, so he brought as many as he was allowed to bring up. He did a good job. Yeah. Awesome job. Everyone. They were very, very courteous and very gracious about it. All right, thank you. Thank you. That's it. Um, so then, under also under new business landscape improvement, um, the biggest thing that we are working on right now is trying to get this area just outside the building over here level for hopefully next spring so that we can put some new tables and try to figure out a way to cover this thing up so that we can have some, a nice seating area for people instead of putting them up out here in the parking lot. And so one of the things that we're kind of looking for uh, is anybody, if, if anybody knows of anybody who has some topsoil that they can donate uh, to put out here on right outside the door and, and kind of level off this whole area, uh, that would be great. We, we can, I think we have it in the budget to uh, to purchase some topsoil if we need to, but if we could get it donated, that anybody has topsoil laying around. So that's one thing, and then we're also going to be organizing some work groups to help level it off after we get the topsoil on it. And I think Fred kind of took over as the project manager for that. He graciously accepted that job. So if um, Fred, do you have anything to add about that? Well, not really. It's like, um, I, well, I'm willing to, to, to donate a little bit of topsoil, and I'm hoping maybe the community could match me. Um, and, I, and I think, you know, we, until yesterday, it was harder to nail out there, so now that we're getting a little bit of moisture, we could get some topsoil dumped in the next week or so and somehow come up with a work party to start um, tilling it in and spreading it out. That's, that's what we need to do. We don't have a very big window before uh, it'll be too late. And I, I guess the, the concept I see is we start near the building and we start working that way and we go as far as we can until we run out of time, money, and energy and, and, and do what we can now. And if we can at least uh, level up the area outside of the building and begin to fill in some of the big dips and stuff in the, in the drain field without harming the drain field, we'll be fine. And our, I've talked to several fire commissioners. They, they are the community, and they they feel responsible responsible for the building, but they want they want good things to happen. So as long as we don't do something that they're not aware of, um, they're fine with what what we want to do. So I I think we can certainly progress for a while and um, see what we can get done before uh, it really gets to be winners. And it's something that we want to get done relatively. We, we would like to get it done before spring so that it's ready to put some grass seed down. Yeah. Well, the I, I think if we're going to do anything out there, it has to happen in the next yeah. two or three weeks. It can't be much faster. Right. Well, but 
until it rained a little bit. Yeah, yeah. Then you can't. Um, I don't know. I, I appreciate Ben's moved a lot of dirt in his life, and you could give your opinion, but I think it has to happen pretty quick if we're going to do it. So Fred is kind of in a roundabout way asking for uh, the community council action. So well, let's let's see what we can do with one load. Yeah, and okay. and get it started. And if we have time.
heart. Oh, that's true. I'm just being part of the animal. But, but if, you, if you pay somebody,
Well, there isn't a meeting, but the right. first part of December. That's a bit Christmas. Party. Yeah. So you just cancel. Normally there is. Yeah. We're having our oh, okay. <laughs> well, yeah. I'm more yeah. Yeah. I said I'll be one in yeah. December to replace the yeah. family.
Yeah, no, I mean, we tried to get everybody in here. I don't know if I have She was bringing up the fact, you know, like Darlene Johnson couldn't make it tonight. Uh, oh, yeah, that's that, 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 And I have heard that from other, especially in Dallas Court, there are community councils that have a lot of heat for um, not keeping their agendas up to date. And so people got upset about that because there were people that were supposed to be at the meeting that didn't show up, and there were people that showed up at the meeting that were on the agenda. And what happened was is some people, some of the you know people running for political office in the county, showed up at the meeting and they weren't on the agenda. People found out about it afterwards. They took a lot of heat for it. And so you know we try to keep the agenda up to up to date, and sometimes things just get dropped. Like when you move it from Thursday to Wednesday, that. that So, and I'm, I'm hoping too that maybe the videotapes will help, you know, uh, get some people looking at them and getting interested in coming back. Because, I mean, we all know that that's what makes a good community is participation. A comment I would make, learn from the people who are quote unquote dissatisfied, make sure that they show up so that they can express their feelings because uh, no organization can run on innuendo and rumor. So I would like that people come and feel free to express themselves as to what they do and do not like so that we can address those issues. I think it would be important. My only question is, yeah, are we attempting to that's, that's what I was just going to ask you. What would be the best way to reach those people? Because I have not heard this and I, I'm not familiar with, with the problem. So what's the best way to reach out to those people? You mean like you know, going door to door or something, uh, phone calls. I know there, not everybody has an internet connection. <coughs> not everybody can find the one that be willing to talk to some individual people and simply raise a question. We used to see you here most every month. We miss you. Is there any particular reason that you're not coming anymore? Anything we know? I, I think that's a positive comment. <laughs> yeah, address these issues. Have the, have the, if you can, if you talk to them, have them come down here and address the issues. I would love to take up that kind of thing. I'm just saying, I'm not there for I'm not there for that. I'm, not I'm, not I'm just going to say, there are, there are some people who have expressed to me the feeling that in some controversial issues, that I think we should deal with controversy because that's life. But, you know, uh, where they feel, right or wrong, that on the wrong side of controversy was the next. That's what I'm saying. And that may not, may not be true. So there is that perception that we And I'd be willing to talk to somebody. If, you know, if that, if that would be a, you want that to be a posture of our community. Absolutely. I'm not speaking for myself yet. As a member of the school, I would say it's important that every voice be heard. Every voice be heard. I thoroughly agree or do not agree with you. But it's those people who are not here. It is their responsibility to show up. It is their responsibility. Each and one of us as individuals are responsible for what we say, what we say, and what we do. And if individuals want to hide in the shadows of complaint, that's their choice. Well, and they can also call a board member to discuss. Well, yeah, I, don't know, but I, mean, I mean, it doesn't matter what the issue is. Come right. here, and you are welcome to express your viewpoint so that you are heard. Whether I agree with it totally or disagree with it 100%. I mean, that's my problem, whether I do or not. But I want to hear your voice. I think that's an issue. Right. What can we I, I guess on a whole different tack, I, I, I think we would get greater participation if we had more interesting programs. The, the times we have yeah. more yeah. interesting speakers, people show up. And I, I think having, we, we can't just rely on one or two people to come up with a program. It's like we all need to contribute ideas about what, what we would like to do and what we would like to hear. And I mean, we go along, we, we get the baby guys to come and, and they give us a pen and a notebook and stuff and that. And it, it's kind of like after you've done that for four or five years, it's like watching the paint dry. It's like yeah. I mean, there, there are some controversies about the race and stuff, but it 
it's, it's like a lot of people are not going to come to that kind of a meeting just because, well, I went there last year and I'm still paying my college bill. <laughs> okay. So, so, like, the times we had somebody come from, like, the Kukatap County Historical Society or some other group, we, we had a pretty good turnout. So, so, again, I don't think some one person can figure this out, but, but we could all contribute some ideas about what we would like to do. And, and you know, we, we have to go through our normal meeting stuff and our treasurer's report and all that, but that's not why people come to meetings. Well, thankfully, the political season's coming to an end here shortly. Oh, so <laughs> we can dispense with all that stuff and we can get some, some other more
discuss the uh, finalizations for the plans for uh, the Christmas dinner. Mm -hmm. So we highly encourage everybody to come to those for the fun. Uh, and that brings us to a motion to adjourn. I have a question, please. When, when will we have a January board meeting? That will. Is that 12th of the 19th? It's, it's, the, it's the Monday prior. Not the first Monday prior, but the second Monday prior. It's always 10 days. Yes. So it would be the 12th? Is that what people are looking at? Yes. Yeah. But we didn't cancel any of the board meetings, so you'll still have November, December.